Okay, we're still busy with the worksheet for the great lines. Uh, question one, showing the impact of every transaction on the accounting equation. Okay, starting again, assets is equal to owner's equity plus liabilities, that's the accounting equation. Uh, left hand side of a T account, this is the capital letter T, is debit, right hand side is credit. Okay, left hand side again is debit, right hand side is credit. You will see that I want to buy assets, and the way I find it is from my own money, own this equity, or I can borrow it. That's why these two are equal to the assets. You will see that assets has a plus on the left hand side, whereas owners equity and liabilities has a plus on the other side um, of the equation. Right, so Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, transaction number five. We've done in the first two videos, one and two and three and four. Okay, received interest on a fixed deposit. The fixed deposit was 400,000 Rand and the interest rate was 25%. Okay, so um, I'm receiving interest. Okay, I'm going to receive the money in the bank account. So bank will be my one account. Okay, so I'm just talking about the interest here, I'm not too worried about the, the fixed deposit as such. Um, that is just what I earned the interest on. Okay, so it's bank is the one account and I'm earning interest. So what, what interest will that be? It will be interest on the fixed deposit. So the other account will be interest um, on fixed deposit. Okay, we'll figure out if it's an income or an expense now. All right, but let's start with bank. Okay, so bank is the one account. Um, I'm receiving money. So what's going to happen to um, bank? Bank is an asset. It will increase. So I'm looking here. There's a debit side. There's a credit side of assets. And on the left-hand side, I will have to increase something. Okay, so I'm not sure what this amount is yet, so I'll have to work it out. So it's one year's interest at 25% on 400,000 rand. So just an easy way to do it. On 100,000 rand, it would have been 25,000 rand, and it's four times that. So 25% of 400,000 rand is then 100,000. Okay, so that's the interest that I will earn and it will increase my asset, okay, because I'm receiving money in the bank. Bank is debited, so you'll see that it's on the debit side of assets, and what, what was the 100,000 rand, it's the bank that increased, okay, so I've got more assets, and um, bank is debited because the bank becomes more, okay, so it's a mark for each one of those. Now, for every debit, there's a credit. So the other account, which is interest on fixed deposit, will be credited. Interest on fixed deposit will be credited. Okay. Now I want to ask myself, is this an income or an expense? Okay. So I'm earning, I'm earning interest on something on a fixed deposit. Now, a fixed deposit is also an asset. Okay, so if I'm earning interest on an asset, it will be an income. Now, I wrote it on the credit side here. It's credited. So what does that mean if I look to the values under owner's equity? I must put 100,000 rand over here. And what did it do to my owner's equity? An income will increase my owner's equity. So this can't be, this interest on fixed deposit, cannot be an expense because it's on the credit side of owner's equity which shows that I increased the value of my business by earning that income. Remember I received it in my bank account so the value of my business increases as well. Okay now I've got a debit and I've got a credit in terms of the accounts. I've got a plus hundred thousand and I've got a plus hundred thousand here. There's an equal sign in the middle and that is correct. Then I also have 100,000 Rand on the debit side. It's debited. I've got a debit transaction, but I must also have a credit transaction of the same amount. And you will see 
that owns equity is credited. So now I know I work correctly and that's four marks for this transaction number five. Okay, so now I'm going to do um, transaction number six, bought equipment on credit. So what did I buy? I bought equipment. So that's my one account. And I bought it on credit, which means I didn't pay for it. So I can't write bank here. So it's going to be creditors control because I'm owing the supplier the money. Okay, so let's start with equipment. I said anything that you purchase, doesn't matter the way you purchase it, if it's cash or on credit, I will debit that account. So I'm going to debit equipment. Now I'm going to ask myself, what is equipment? Equipment is an asset account, okay? And I've got more equipment, and that's the reason why I actually put the equipment on the debit side. So the value of the transaction is 18,000 Rand. So I'm going to say my assets equipment increased with 18,000 Rand. So you can see it's on the debit side of assets, and it's on the debit side of account debited and credited. Okay, the other account, as I mentioned, was creditors control, so I'm going to write it in here. Now, the reason why it's on the credit side, I will explain to you just now, is because creditors control is a liability. So, on which side is, will liabilities increase? Because I owe more money now to people. So, I'm going to put it on the credit side here. So, you will see that's plus 18,000 over here under liabilities. Okay. And that's, um, <clears throat> that correlates what, what is this 18,000 rand? It is creditors control, which is a liability. Okay, now we test ourselves. We've got a debit and a credit. Okay, so that's two marks. And then we've got 18,000 rand plus 18,000 rand, and we've got plus 18,000 rand. Is that equal to each other? Yes, that's equal to each other. And then we've got 18,000 rand on the debit side of an account. And I've also got 18,000 rand on the credit side of the account. So I've got a debit and a credit there as well. So now I know I work correctly. So that's transaction number five and six of activity um, of the worksheet question.